If you would like to support the channel, then please turn off adblock and refresh the page. Alternatively, use the link in the description below to donate to T1 Patreon. Thank you. Hello Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistenrelf here. Playing some Arena, the daily quest is cast 20 blue or green spells, and I think we might have just the deck for that. Going to be playing some Simic Merfolk. Jumping right on in. Uh, joined today by Zero Fox Given, once again. Uh, coffee, today's flavor is... Mm. Uh, today's flavor is mouthwash, unfortunately. I just used mouthwash and tried to wash it out, but there's still some mint left behind, so... Ew, coffee and, and that aftertaste. <laughs> uh, hello, Nuance. <laughs> Alright, uh... Sh on the draw, I guess this is okay. I'm gonna play one of you, put it in tapped. I should have played the second one because what? So watch my opponent's hand. If they don't play, see if they don't play the one that's ooh, hello, uh oh, uh oh. We're gonna have to trade a misbinder. No, thank goodness, no. Okay. I'm trying to hide from my opponent how many they already suspect I imagine how many lands I had because of how I misplayed that. Alright, we are for sure going to try to trade this branch walker. Um, I think that there's a case actually for playing the mist binder so that if they remove it I can still... Yeah, I think I'm supposed to do the mist binder because if they remove it Merfolk branch walker is a 3-2 potentially. And that can get the job done. Uh, but then again Jade Light Ranger does the same thing. So okay, we're good. We're good. Uh, that's fine. Kumina's speaker on top is fine. Alright. If you strike me down, <laughs> I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. Alright, so we're on Dread Horde Butcher Beatdown, apparently. This is not good. This is not good at all. Now, Merfolk does have ways to tie up the opponent's board, but bouncing them? That's a little trickier for us, unfortunately. So we're going to take two here. And play Mr. Ranger, sir. Uh, Branch Walker's good. We're gonna go Library. Um, library. So I'd get the counter even if I put it in the yard. Oh my god. Well, this is getting real bad real quick. And that, folks, is why we do that. That, folks, is, in fact, why we do that. Okay, so alternatives. There aren't any. We're going to double block here. I guess we'll do the branch walker first. That's technically correct. Ooh, you stay right there, bud. You stay right there. All right. So I can try to do Mistbinder here make this four power and then they can deal the damage yeah that, I think that that's correct I mean Mistbinder's gonna die anyway man this is this looks really cool I so I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh and there's a card called Raging Flame Sprite just you there's a card called Raging Flame Sprite it only has a hundred points of power uh, but it gets to attack without being blocked, and then every time it does so, it gains a thousand attack. And it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger until it's out of control. And that used to be an actual deck. That legitimately used to be an actual deck. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to do Kapala first, try to protect whatever else gets cast. And then Kumina's Speaker. And that won't protect us from the sack effect here, Ongroth's Rampage. Whew! Woo! This looks like a fun deck to deal with. This is a fun deck, folks. Alright, so hopefully we've weathered the storm, but given how many cards they have in hand and how many I had to use to go through that, I don't think we did. Hmm. We can live with Phoenix. Phoenix isn't the worst. Especially when you have another Water Trap Weaver. Alright, so obviously we're gonna stop you. We're going to try to go all in here. 
We still have a blocker in case they have the Rampager. What is it? Dread Horde Butcher, right? Butcher. Oh my god. Okay. Well, that's a thing. That's a thing, folks. Um, put... Let's see. Let's trap it. And hope for a Mistbinder on the top. If not, I can play Kumena and... Kumena can't block, but if I can't attack, then Kumena can do some shenanigans. Oh, okay. We'll do Branch Walker first. See if we can find a land, or make it bigger, or whatever the case may be. That's a speaker. Let's put that in the library, actually. I mean, the graveyard, I mean to say. Then play Kumena, Tyrant of Horazka. Ixalan was a fun set. All right. So I'm going to pretty clearly represent to my opponent, if you don't kill me this turn, I'm going to push lethal on you next turn. I'm sure this is a deck that can do it, but they need Shock Shock or Strike Shock or something like that. So we're going to pass right along. Oh, you know what? Wait a minute. Maybe I can attack with one of these and get Kumina. Get Kumina to do something. Let's see, wait a minute, wait a minute. At the beginning of your upkeep. Never mind, never mind, that wouldn't do anything, actually. I would just uselessly trade it. At the beginning of your upkeep. I, I don't know why. For some reason, I guess I was thinking end step. Alright. Let's see. Let's pass turn. It wouldn't make any sense to give it... Hey, hey, got there. Got there. Okay. Merfolk doing work. Putting in work. That's a thing, I guess. Alright, let's run it back. Let's do it again. Here's to hope... Man, if we keep that up, we're going to have the daily quest done in two games. And uh, win or lose, two games, and then we'll open a pack. Uh, the pack will open, by the way, will be War of the Spark, because shout-outs to Michael with uh, two AEs. <laughs> I'll com put in the comments if I forget to put it in the description, but he has a, a Twitch stream and a Twitter. I don't know if he's on YouTube or not. Yorcho-san. And uh, he is doing brew-offs. And so I would like to bring a, a cool little mud deck to one of the brew-offs. If you're watching my video, Michael, I'm sorry, I just spoiled it for you. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll keep. This one's the opposite of last game. It seems pretty low to the ground, the Oracle notwithstanding. An Oracle, I hear that's an okay card. So, we can go turn one, Biomancer. Turn two, swing, pump it if we need to. And if we don't, then we can play a Branch Walker. Okay. Those are three colors. Ooh, yikes. Mm-hmm. All right. Go to combat. Not gonna do anything about that. And we'll play a branch walker. Ooh, uh, hmm. I think that that's probably fine. Sure, that's fine. I'm not sure what I'm up against just yet. I think that I'm alright with having more creatures, especially since I already have four lands in hand. That's usually as many as I'll need. Plus, I'll have another branch walker and another branch walker to try to dig for more lands anyway. Not try to dig. They will invariably. Hey, there we go. There's a shock. Hey, what a shock. Alright, um. How about we play the land first? No, we don't, just in case. Branch Walker value. Go to combat. Hi, ya. Come at me, bro. Alright, Branch Walker. Ooh, we got a breeding pool. 
Hmm, well they already know about that. I'm not sure this is the kind of matchup where taking damage matters too much. It might be better just to try to... I'm gonna have to do it next turn anyway. If I don't. Because I would like to play Oracle. And Oracle plus Kumina Speaker here is going to... Unless my opponent, you know, rats me here. Ritual of Soot. That would be... That'd be a pain. Ritual of Soot. Do it. No. <laughs> they don't have double black. Never mind. No ritual. Alright, you ready for this? I don't know that you're ready for this. Alright. My opponent has no counterspell. Apparently. Alright, let's see him. Hey, we got there! Okay, so this game is probably in the bag. I don't know that I've lost from this position before. The position being draw three cards off of Seafloor Oracle, who I will apparently never stop calling Seagate Oracle. That's maybe a different card. Definitely a different set, different block, different standard. We are not in Zendikar anymore. Shoutouts to old Zendikar. I have a thing against new Zendikar, and it's not Gideon, it's the flavor of the Eldrazi. Instead of feeling like these menacing Titan, is this Drake's? Is this a weird Drake's deck that just hasn't found one yet? Because you're there. I would play one. I would play a Drake if I were you, if I had one. Um. Well. Yeah, it felt. Battle for Zendikar felt like Theros 2.0. Whereas Rise of the Eldrazi, they actually felt like these Lovecraftian, you know, unbeatable horrors from another realm. Alright, there's clearly something. And we're not in subtle colors. I'm going to risk it. I have a feeling, but it's more than a feeling. Alright, they have something. What are you going to do? Um, all right, we'll go to combat. Lethal? No, 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 that's right, we're just shy. We're just shy. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Ignore me, folks, ignore me. All right. We're going to play a little reserved here. We'll put out the unclaimed territory, though. It's pretty clear what we're on, so we might as well get our colors. And... Oh, there they go. There they go. Okay, I didn't know what to expect. Apparently, I can't do math. Oh, Jay. Oh, Jay. Oh, we're st Oh, we're one away. We're one away. Okay, one more game. One more game. We got this. And then we can start playing some other decks, but... Oh my goodness, it's getting dark. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's weird. It's, it's summer here. We're not that far from this, uh, the solstice, so it still takes a while before it actually gets dark. My favorite day of the year is like winter solstice, because I like it when it's cold, I like it when it's darker. Uh, but the second favorite day is the day after the summer solstice, when you know days are starting to get shorter again. Uh, can we ever be on the play? <laughs> Please? <laughs> Oh well. Um, well, go into full control and play an island. And represent opt. Go back into full control. Hold full control. Okay. There we go. Incubation druid. Uh, sure. Pass. Alright. So this is something you can do if until you have a... Oh my goodness. What the heck? Okay. <laughs> Go! I thought I hit the button and nothing happened. So now it's going to be pretty clear what's what's going on. So now we don't have to represent that anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Now the opponent knows we're not an opt deck. Or if we are, something has gone horribly wrong. Whew! I've seen that thing adapt on turn three before. That's fun. Ooh, okay. Is this 
Oh, it's just a Selesnia Life Gain deck. Shoutouts to Craig Wesco. Okay, um, well, we don't have any effects that I would really need right now. Uh, um, play that since I know about it. Missbinder Speaker, I guess? Like, there's no way this works. They're, they're not going to take the trade. But I can't build a wall forever. Alright. Take it. You're the life gain deck. Obviously you're going to take it. And if they attack with this thing on f uh, four, if they don't play another two creatures, uh, then I'm going to say... Well, I guess it'd be a 5-5, five, five, so it'd need to be... Yep, okay, there's one. Gain a life. Counter, counter. Okay, one more. Incubation Druid, so it's a 5-5. Five, five. We're still going to offer the trade here. If they attack, we're still offering the trade. Are we? So what's the alternative? Two Silvergill Adepts next turn. No, we, we're doing it. Deep Root Elite. Hey, that's not bad. That's not bad. It's not great, <laughs> but it's not bad. Alright, so we have to do this first, so we get the extra counter out. And this will be our Johnny's Pride Mate. Reveal a Merfolk, reveal Silvergill, because that doesn't change how the opponent plays. Alright, let's throw a counter on... Y you. I may be wrong. I don't know that it matters too much. So, with our opponent having not too many cards in hand, they're actually still in a decent spot. If they don't play anything here, Incubation Druid is going to adapt and turn into a, a, a Gilded Lotus. That'll be fun. Gilded Lotus or just a 3-5. And that's not bad. I hear that's okay. I used to play with a similar card in a previous standard, uh, whose name I don't remember, but it's a uh, werewolf that trans it has defender, it's like an O3, but then you transform it and it becomes an actual win con. So it's in a ramp deck, it serves as both ramp and a win condition. Uh oh. Uh oh. Folks, this ain't good. This, this ain't good. Uh, whale, how are we getting out of this one? They move to combat next turn. They are getting a 4-4. And they're gaining more life than we can deal damage to them. So let's first... So if we try to do the Tempest Caller here, we only get 1, 2, 3, 4 five, six, seven points through. I'm going to reveal a Tempest Caller. We don't get enough, in other words. Put this on the... Silvergill Adept. That way, if we get one more creature, there's a Trickster. That's, that's interesting. We'll put a stop on their upkeep. I don't worry about the rope too much. I appreciate the time to think. Alright, Merfolk Trickster. I have... I really only have one choice. I have to put it on the Angel. I have to. Let's put it on Silvergill. Unless they can flash in a creature... go. Hey, pass to draw. Unless they can flash in a creature, Silvergill should be able to deal with this pride mate. Uh, if they play something before combat, combat, I'll have to use two creatures to stop it. Unfortunately. 
It's not ideal, but you do what you have to do. D depending on what we draw, we might be able to draw ourselves out of this. Um, it's not great, it's not a great spot to be in, but we can do it. Tempest Caller doesn't get the job done, because it'll tap them down for a swing on our part. Nice little bit of aggro. Okay, you don't... Uh-oh, there's a Pride Mate. Stop drawing Pride Mates! <laughs> I know this is like the 8 Pride Mate deck. Please, stop drawing Pride Mates. For the love of God. Alright, who's attacking? No one. Okay, now that's a start. Water Chap Weaver is a start. We, we can live with that. What's the term we stand for that? Um, we're still not in great shape. Water Trap Weaver buys us a turn. I can try to make a single out... Well, no, I can't. I still have to take the Resplendent Angel. Alright, so reading the text of Resplendent Angel, it gets plus two and plus two and gains lifelink. It's the only creature. Thank God. Alright, there's your counter. Uh, we are not attacking here, folks. We are not attacking. Alright, they're in top deck mode. We kind of are, too. We have a trick up our sleeve, but it's not enough on its own. Kumena. Okay, that's a thing, too. Can we live with Kumena? So we have enough to go Tempest Caller Kumena. Uh, Tempest Caller can't attack, Kumina can't attack, and... Okay, um, maybe I play the Kumina here, hold back everything, and then drop counters? But they're going to be able to play that Resplendent Angel and get a 4-4 and gain 5 life? Like, that's not where we want to... Oh my god! Why?! <laughs> Can they see the Kumina when I do that? Yeah, I, I don't know if they could see that or what, but... That, um... Oh man, maybe they did. I'm sorry, that's anticlimactic. Climax? Climax, there we go. It's an anticlimax. <laughs> Let's go to the store and buy some more. I don't think I should have won that. I, I don't think so. I may be missing something, but I I don't... Like, there's so many draws that get them out of that. A Johnny is a good... Well, I'm assuming they have those cards in their deck, but I, I think they do. Get a... Whew. Alright, open it up. See what we have. Ugin's Conjurant. Look at this stretched art, folks. Tell me it doesn't look... The actual card doesn't look like that, right? Please? Oh, a Rampage is nice. That's a that's an actual card. That's a pretty cool card. Grazer. I, I have a Popper deck that might use that. I, I actually have a standard deck for just a little bit longer that can use that too. Spoiler alert, it's... Whoa, it's dark. <laughs> Let me get the light real quick. Hit that light for everyone. Camera can't see as well as the human eye. Actually, just a moment. Hey, let there be light. Fiat Luke's. All right, cool. So, uh, I have a, a deck, it's Land Destruction, because I always <laughs> try to find a way to make Land Destruction a thing. It's obnoxious, but I, I lack it too many cards for it to actually be a thing, unfortunately. I, it, it's a Crucible of Worlds, the memorial from Dominaria that destroys lands, and you can loop that. Eventually you get to the point where you can just loop that and take all their lands away. It's really mana intensive, so you have to, you know, keep your opponent off the resources until you get to that point in the game, but once you do, you can't lose. Alright, and we have a plain wide celebration, which I think is my second copy. Which is fine, that's a... That's, it's versatile. Jack of all traits, master of none. Seven mana for eight power and toughness isn't great, especially at sorcery speed. Uh, you also get four... not regrowth, but regrowth for permanence, that's okay. Proliferate four times, you gain four life. Um, cool. Cool, I guess. It's not ideal. Alright, so we'll keep playing. We'll actually, um, let's see. I still have two rare wild cards, and I'm tempted to, I'm tempted to try to burn them for this deck, but 
I'm anticipating that sometime between now and the next time that Michael and I play in his brew-off, which should be Monday, uh, I will be able to get at least one more card for which I would have had to spend a rare wild card. So because of that, I'm not doing it now. Additionally, I have seven mythic rares, and that land destruction deck I was talking about, there is a teeny tiny little trick to it. It, it still kind of blows my mind, to be honest, that this is the case, but let's, uh, let's sort through here. Let's look at cards I don't have. I don't think I... Well, I may have a copy of it, just in case. Put it here. Artifacts that are mythic from Magic Corset 2020. Hello? Hello? Mythic artifact collected or not collected? Maybe it's a... I, I'm pretty sure I remember it being... Okay, where'd you go, dude? Where did you go? Okay. <laughs> was it M19? By chance. Oh, it was M19! It's a mythic from M19. Okay, so I really shouldn't invest in them. Uh, <laughs> if you have Crucible of Worlds, and if you feel like being a jerk to your friends, an absolute jerk to your friends for the next couple months, next month or so, it, it's not that much longer, if we're being honest, unfortunately. Uh, you can run the Crucible of Worlds. Let me let me sort. All right, here, here's a bad version of the deck. Don't actually do this one. This is a bad version of the deck. But we're going to go into our decks again. And this is uh, Gruel Land Destruction. Let's see. Oh, this might be the Popper version. All right, so Demolish, Rubble Reading, Seismic Shift, they're all commons. As far as I'm aware, all of the land destruction cards, uh, actual spells, in Standard right now are commons. Seismic Shift uh, from Dominaria, Rubble Reading, and Demolish. Now, you may think, well, wait a minute, these two are still going to be around. And you're right, they are still going to be around. Oh, wait, since this is Popper, we, we can't show you that, uh, that card. So let's really quickly go back and look through the collection. But the most important cards in the deck in my insane estimation uh, are Memorial to War and Crucible of Worlds. Now, you look through Memorial... Hello? Okay, let's not craft you. Let's not say we didn't. We're just trying to get a look. There we go. It's really mana intensive. In order to make this lock work, you have to have a lot of mana. Shouts to Corona in the art, by the way. Uh, by the way, uh, I think it's pumpkin spice is the, the coffee flavor. So you get six mana, well, five mana and the memorial. Sack memorial, destroy land, play the memorial from your graveyard. Untap it, do it again and again and again and again. When you get to that point, you have, congratulations, you have played a land destruction deck in standard. Woo! You can go mono red, but I strongly encourage you to make it green red so that you have access to Llanowar Elves, you have access to Arboreal Grazer, and these are one drops that help to ramp you. Uh, that way you can start, well, I mean, you could still get two drops, like the, uh, what's it, Paradise Druid? The, the two mana, two one hexproof, as long as it's untapped. In other words, hexproof until it comes to your turn to tap it, so it lives the first turn. Uh, those, that'll still be fine, it'll still get you by, uh, but, you know, you really need to start looping these things on turn two, and preferably, you, you like your one drops so that you can do things like, I mentioned Shiv and Fire, or Shock, or Lightning Strike, or something to keep your opponent off of their early creatures, their early plays. Uh, your weaknesses are definitely decks like uh, Mono Red Winds, like uh, the uh, Gruul Stompy, things that can put out really big cards early. So if you're trying to run this kind of deck, I strongly recommend that you have two play sets of your one drop ramp cards. So Lenoir Elves and Arboreal Grazer. Uh, and also Grazer is an O3, so that helps to keep you alive as well. Uh, the only other like budget card I can think of that would fit into that would be something like, uh, where are you? And, and this is not particularly, <laughs> don't, the, Gleaming Barrier is not great, but it's a common, it's cheap, it's an O4, and when it dies, you get to make a treasure token, so it can kind of ramp you if you need to, but that's eh, that's not great. Uh, what we would be looking for would be something like 
but I'm actually not sure I own it, so let me sort by collected and not collected, just in case. Uh, we'll say green creature, just to make it take a little less time. There's Lanawar. And, uh, where are you? What's your name, little girl? What's your name? Paradise Druid, that's it! Yeah, so that's the one. And it's an uncommon, okay. I mean, it's it's a fairly cheap deck. If you already have the Crucible of World, it's a fairly cheap deck, actually. Uh, I am absolutely one of these days going to take... I, I won't have enough time, the deck's about to rotate, I won't have enough time to build the deck uh, in paper, in standard, but I'll take something that I can test against people over to my LGS and just run it against them. <laughs> just to just to be a jerk. I want to be it. I want to loop. I had fun playing Gruel and Destruction in Battle for Zendikar standard. You know, when that was, it was battle until, um, mm, let's see, battle, Amonkhet, Kaladesh, the one after Kaladesh, whatever that one was. What was the one after Kaladesh again? Oh no, crap, crap. It was battle, Kaladesh, Amonkhet, Ixalan, right? Okay, that standard. I got to be a jerk. <laughs> I got to be a jerk and play that deck. Uh, so that was fun, folks. That was a lot of fun. Uh, where you could loop you, with the Sanctum of Ugin. You could loop World Breakers, and I was just—it's—it's a—it's a nightmare. Uh, Gunner, if you're watching this, uh, I am kind of sorry that I played that deck all the time against you. I'm kind of sorry. <laughs> um, you know what, I, I, in, before we do the Karn decks, I'd like to get one in with Drakes. Just one. I'd like to get one win in with Drakes. See if we can get that to work. Uh, this is a really tougher deck than Merfolk, though. Chipsy, I think I've played you before. Okay. I am never going to get to go on the play, apparently. Uh, huh. Good to see the one of Shimmer show up. We'll play a mountain, and this time we're actually gonna quickly pass, uh, because we have a shock. Don't let our opponent know. Alright, go to my turn. Alright. Hello? I have a touch screen. Hey, we got there. Um, well, let's not do Shimmer yet. Let's just hold up Anticipate or Shock Opt. And pass turn. Ashiok. This is Mill. Uh, yes, it resolves. To search their library. Who just said, I need to make sure that... Was that Ral? <sighs> oh, hello. I'm trying. I'm trying to click it. Um... How many lands do we have? I like Shock Shock. But I would like another land, too. We're actually going to go Shock Shock here. It's an unfortunate two-for-one. Now, was that Ral? Yeah, that was you. Okay, buddy. Okay, I see you. Well, so this is this is fine. We'll still be able to opt afterwards. You must be what? I'm gonna take your word for that. So I think I mentioned this before, but. If you played Fallout 1, and you know the, the Master's voice... Oh, uh-oh... Gonna leave the Opt and they're gonna take the Drake. Okay. Uh, the Master's voice is... The, I think that there were... It, it, the Master has four voices. I don't I don't know if it's... Oh, I used to know. I used to know Grey. Sorry, sorry for getting this wrong. Uh, it's either two male, two female voice actors, or one male, one female and they're doing two voices, but there are times when there's a double voice effect going on, and it's so cool. Ashiox is doing the same thing. 
And that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. I like that. I like that. It's a cool effect to see happen. I, I'm actually not familiar with Ashiok's lore post Dak Faden showing up. Actually, I'm not even familiar. Oh, yep, took the Drake. Familiar with that as much as I would like. Okay. We're actually going to put Anticipate down just a bit. Oh, pfft. okay. We're going to find the four Anticipate deck. Yeah, there's Velocity. That's not... There's one Anticipate, one on the bottom, and two Anticipates in hand. Um... I guess it's fine to do Shimmer here. Not yet. I'm not digging as hard as I will later. So we're gonna do Discovery. There's a Land and a Strike. And I actually like both of these, so we're gonna take both. The trick, though, is that if I anticipate, I'm going to have to take the strike, right? So, maybe make the strike a wild card? Plus, it'll buff a drake later on? Alright. So, we play this, and then we pass the turn right along. And they know that we have an anticipate, you yeah. know. Alright, what do we have? Drake! I knew you'd show up. Uh, hmm. Is there a reason to shock here? Like, this is a mill deck, right? Alright. We'll play the Drake first, see what we draw. That's an 8-4, by the way. After an Ashiok mill, that's an 8-4. Alright. I know you're dead, Drake. I know you're dead. Like, I'm gonna get cast down? Yep. Called it. There's the opt. Uh, Drake is going to die too. That's for sure. Now, slightly smaller, unfortunately. We're gonna say pass turn. See how dead this one is. All right. Yes, we'll end the turn. Okay. Cool. All right, you're dead. Minus five, minus five. Uh huh. Is there any way that I can save you, boy? Yeah, Drake boy. <laughs> Walgreens Drake. <laughs> All right. Shout out to Walgreens Drake. Has to end of combat. Uh, we'll anticipate. Again. Ooh, you know, Raul... Raul seems fine. Raul's going to get contempted, I am positive of that. Uh, I'm actually going to play the mountain here, so that I can have blue held up for opt or red for shock in just a bit. I feel you, bro. I feel ya. Ooh, okay. We're gonna pass it right along. Vraska's Contempt, here we come. Ooh, I feel it. Yep, called it. Called it. I let that resolve. Good on you, man. Good on you. Alright, now what do we have? Mountain. Let's, let's not... Oh, hello? Touch screen. Why? Okay. Alright. Now we shimmer. Finally, we get to do the... 
Oh, okay. How much mana do I have left? I have enough. Crackling Drake, let's go. All right. Play an island. Represent that shock. Draw a card. It's a beacon bolt. Okay, let's do it. I think that this deck now only runs one maximize velocity, so there's no way we can give it haste, unfortunately. Not that it would have done a whole... It would have shortened the clock. Hi, Ashiok. You're cool. Please, Ashiok, please mill. Please mill. Please mill. Please mill. Please mill. When it dies or is put into exile, return that card to the battlefield under your control. Uh, sure. Okay. Okay. I, I see the combo normally. The combo, you can make Ashiok go off five times, or however many times, and then it comes right back with its counters again, and you can do it again. That's always fun. Alright. Is there any reason to shock here? I don't think I'm supposed to. This could be wrong. Alright. Let's go. Let's go. Let's just do it right here. There's only one white mana open. Let's go for it. Right now. That's risky. I, I shouldn't have put the Mystic down. Alright. Let's keep it going. Opt. Not island. Let's keep it going. Oh, shoot. Okay. Well, we didn't quite get there, unfortunately. We didn't quite get there. Our opponent's saying good game, but I don't know. I don't feel as confident as I would like. Um, you know... There's a temptation here. No, they're going to do it with Ashiok anyway. Let's just get the opponent low enough that if I draw a strike, they're dead. And then we'll pass the turn. Yeah, Beacon Bolt on 17. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, fun. Yeah, in exile and in your graveyard. That's... That's some fun text, folks. <laughs> That is some fun text. Alright, what you got, opponent? I mean, you do what you have to do, but that's a, that's a 24 Crackling Drake. How many cards do I have left in deck? 16. So close, man. If you can deal with this Crackling Drake right here, right now, you might actually still have me. Can you kill it? You have four cards in hand. You're still thinking. Can you do it? I'm actually weirdly rooting for my opponent here, because this is a this is an interesting spot. Uh, <laughs> whew. Let's look through, by the way. 32 cards in exile. They're all in exile. Uh, we're down one Drake, one Rao, two Drakes, two Rao, three Drakes. Alright, so we still have uh, enough crack enough Enigma Drakes, that's true. Timeout used. Yeah, if, if you're going to burn timeouts, now's the time to think. Think hard. Go into the tank. So we can still win off of... There's another Crackling Drake in the deck. There's an Enigma Drake. There's actually three Enigma Drakes. And there's one Ral. But Ral is no longer a win con. Ral doesn't have enough time, unfortunately. Uh, I, actually, how many strikes are there? How many strikes are left in the deck? Oh, God. Well, that's a thing. All right. Oh, this is so, this is so bad. Oh, this is so bad. All right, Ral, do me a solid. Find me a strike. Win the game right here. What would you risk? Ooh, let's see what we got. Mm. No, man. Why? Oh, okay. Oh, hmm. Folks, it's not looking good for T1 Glisten Ralph. 20. If Beacon Bolt could target the face, if Beacon Bolt could target the face. Please. Please, no Vraska's Contempt. Okay. 
Alright, that's fair. And it's exiled. Alright. There's oh, there were two maximized velocities. Alright. That voice is terrifying. We're we're dead, folks. We're dead. We're dead. We're we're dead. They have another Ashiok? No, 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 this happens in upkeep. Or this happens in draw. So they can't go Ashiok, bring out the new Ashiok, Ashiok. Then we would definitely be dead. Uh, well, they know about the mountains. We'll play that. But do we even have a way to win? We need another strike. Lightning strike. Lightning strike. Lightning strike. No! All four lightning strikes are in the yard. Okay. Uh... I don't think this works the way you think it works. How many cards are left? Six. Okay, so we actually can't win here. Um, I don't think it's possible for us to win. Because if all of our strikes are gone, what could we draw? I don't know. Alright, two cards. I'm going to draw one and Raul's going to give me the other. Alright. Well, yeah, a Crackling Drake would have made more sense there. But I don't think that they realized that. Which, yeah, that's... I'm sorry. Okay, um, I get two cards left. We're down both of our maximized velocities, so Drake into Haste wouldn't get the job done. We're down all four of our strikes, so the most I could do is Shock. There's a Beacon Bolt. Let's draw that last card. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? It's an island! <laughs> it's an island! Alright, well played. Well played, opponent. There's not even something for me to target with Beacon Bolt. Uh, since we're definitely dead, no point. No point. Their deck played well. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Alright, well, I, I said I'd just do one. I did also say I'd like to do one win. Um, please afford me one more, please. One more. Um, just, it's a fun deck. What can I say? Drake's, oddly enough, I, I think of Drake's in a similar way that I think of Infect, uh, where you suit up. Your deck is built around suiting up one big creature and you just get to go to town on them. You like that effect? That go to town effect? Finally we get to go first! Hallelujah! Alright. Well. Whale. 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 Alright. Looking back at it, it was definitely greedy to go all in with that uh, discovery, survey, uh, putting both in the yard, um, instead of putting both on the bottom of the deck. But I was trying to kill my opponent immediately, trying to kill them that turn. Beacon Bolt. I'm sorry, what land was that again? Um, Beacon Bolt is probably going to be a thing. So I will keep probably going to be a thing in this matchup, I would imagine. Uh, we're going to play the Shimmer here. Crackling Drake, double maximize velocity. Okay. Well, unfortunately, we can't cast the Drake just yet. You notice our mana is a little messed up for that, unfortunately. But we'll have Murmuring Mystic. Butcher. Butcher. Regulator! Ooh, Chandra! Hi, Chandra! Uh-oh... Uh, well, the Chandra deck is... fun. I... guess... Let's pass it right along. Next turn, maybe get a Mystic out. And then, of course, we have Double Drake. Ooh! Okay. 
pay one. All right. Well, yeah, yeah. Create two one ones. They gain haste. Sack them at end. Okay. Gonna take two here. Just two. Put a loyalty counter on each red planeswalker. Okay. Hmm. Go on to my turn. How are we going to do this? What's that card? So, change of plans. Do it now! Change of plans. Instead of the Murmuring Mystic, we're just going to throw out a Drake. And this thing is not living. This thing is absolutely not living. Chandra's Triumph. Three damage. Oh, I'm sorry. Five damage. Hey, that's the upgrade effect. That's okay. Alright, paying the one. As you do. Did you not? Okay. We maybe would like to discard and draw a card. Oh, nope, nope, that'll do it. That's a good reason. That's a good reason, folks. Okay, got there. I said... <laughs> so we also have a Rowl. That might be interesting. I can go Murmuring Mystic Shock. I can go... Rowl. Try to build advantage from there. I think it's probably best to start going Murmuring Mystic. Alright. Pass turn. Enter. We'll see where Chandra goes from here. Hmm. Judith. Alright. That's a thing, I guess. One damage to any target. Okay. Hey, you guys are great. We're gonna do this now. Judas is going to kill the token itself. Deal one damage to any target, kill the token. Made a token, killed a token. I may be wrong, but that seems right. Okay. Now Beacon Bolt is awkward against this deck. <laughs> Alright, so obviously we're gonna block one, take only three. Three, though. That's not where I'd like to be. Hmm. Itchy nose. Itchy nose. Hello. Okay. Okay. So we can potentially go Crackling Drake Anticipate. Or we could just have a strike. Oh! Oh, okay, okay. Okay, we can't anticipate. We didn't have enough blue mana. Oops. Let's go to combat. Go to attackers. Hit you. And then while we're here, we'll just fire a strike at you. Make a make one just right now. Now things are getting heated. Yeah. I, I didn't know she had that line, actually. Seems appropriate for that one, though. Uh-oh. Strike. Strike. Yep. Alright. Well, that's a thing. Now we can try to build advantage with Ral. Um... do this now just in case the plus gives a pump. I'd like to think so. Ooh, 
Gee, that's a tough choice. That's a real tough choice, folks. Well... I probably shouldn't attack with both, then. I also shouldn't have played my land there. Just going to attack with... Oh, I don't need to mute you. Just going to attack with the Drake. Should I opt here for the extra damage? I don't think it changes the clock considerably. I am going to, though. It might. Ooh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. That's not bad one bit. Hit you for five. Come on! Come on! Come on! Alright. Beacon Bolt Judith again, please. That's always fun. Gain a life. Okay. <sighs> Strike. Alright, what else you got? I feel like... Crackling Drake is a three-for-one in this situation. They used Strike and Shock to take out one creature that also happened to draw me a card. <laughs> so I think we're okay. Alright, we'll start with a plus. See what we can hit. Hey, 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 we sure did. Speak of the devil. Um... Caw -caw. <laughs> this is so stupid. Caw -caw. All right, so that leaves us with not enough, unfortunately, for Enigma Drake as well, right? No, it does. We still do. In that pile being as small as it was, I, could, I didn't count correctly how many there were. All right. Well, and there's a mountain, too, so still had all these. Uh... Sure. Why not? Um, what are they going to do to get rid of all of them? This seems like a spot removal deck, not a... And even if they had Ritual of Soot, Crackling Drake doesn't care. Hey, We gotta win! We gotta win! We gotta win! Alright. Now it's time for some mud. Play in the mud. Folks, we are going to play in the mud. Um, I'm actually only going to play to one more win, if that's alright. Just for now. I'll keep playing, but I'm only going to play till one more win here. Whew. Nicholas. Oh, you hear that sound? I think that means that it loaded first for them. Oh, opponent goes first. This is a really expensive hand. I, I don't care. There's zero stakes. Let's go. Let's go. This is not an actual hand, though, folks. Just to be clear, this is not an actual hand. This is not a hand you actually keep. But with that acknowledgement, I am still playing the hand, so, <laughs> you know. That said, if my opponent keeps playing slowly, maybe we can get somewhere. Alright. I should have held control so that the opponent might think that I have cast down or something. Oh, Pride Mate. Hey! Uh-oh. Uh-oh, boyo. Mobilize District into Mana Geode. Itchy nose. Why? We are not winning this game, but I'm going to have fun. Put that on the bottom. I think we're good on lands for a bit. If we play one more land, we'll have five, and that's as much as the deck usually needs. Alright, please don't play another creature. You're going to, but please don't. Chemister's in- oh, okay. Okay, I was definitely not expecting that. Well, um... Let's get the Eldest Reborn started now. That's definitely not what I was expecting. This is- this is a- a weird- So, I know that there's a 4-mana, 2-3 flyer, gains you life, draws you a- Oh, okay, Ix Ixalan's Binding, yeah. Better to use it on, on that than one of our Planeswalkers, I suppose. There are only two Eldest Reborns in the deck. Um, so let's see. I think it's right to go to get the Mystic Forge started. Let's start that out, see where we can go from here. Oh, what's it? It's a land, of course it is. Um, well, 
I guess not. <laughs> I guess not. We'll just pass the turn right along. I actually could have paid the life, shuffled, and tried to uh, play another card off. That's probably what I should have done. Ah, uh, this is mill. Yay. Alright, what's the wording on this? Exile. Alright. Pride made again. Okay, I don't I'm not caring about you too much right now, bud. You're you're gonna die next turn. Alright. Gonna use this. That's tough to do against the mill deck, but we're doing it. We're doing it, folks. Draw a card. Alright. Hey, there's a cast down. Ooh, okay, so wait a minute. We have a Swamp, we can cast down and play Karn. Folks, that's what we're going to do. Now, I probably should have done Karn first, but I'm definitely killing that thing. Now, this may be a tiny bit controversial, but since I know... Oh, I'm playing against Mill. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh, Ugin, I'm sorry, man. You're not gonna, you're not gonna show up this game. There's no way. Uh, there's no way my opponent gives me Ugin, and even if they did, I'm up against a mill deck. I'm not gonna try to draw myself, oh jeez, itchy nose, out from this. So we're just gonna go on the beatdown plan and say that that's enough. I'm sorry, Ugin. Ripping pepperoni. Like, either you're getting milled or you're getting exiled. Oh, it was Karn, well, it's Karn Scion. So we're, next time we're going to go Karn into, oh no, oh no, I was about to say we're going to go Karn minus into new Karn, Karn minus, but now we can't do that. That sucks. That sucks. Okay, well, black does not have enchantment removal. I didn't think it was taking that long. All right, what's on top? <gasps> no! Wrong! No! No! Please, no! No, God, no! All right, well, let's push you down to the bottom. See what's on top now. It's a murder. Okay, um... Play out Karn. Oh, no, 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 I didn't mean... Oh, it's District. That's fine. Uh, it's still not fine, actually. I should not have done that. Karn minus... Let's go and get Meteor Golem. Yes, Meteor Golem. That's a thing. All right, so had I tapped that differently, uh, I'm going to blame the auto-tapper, but it's it's my fault, ultimately. Um, let's go to next. And in the turn. All right, but it is my fault. I should have been able to hit... Well, no, did I have enough mana for Mobilize District? I don't actually think I did. Anyway, though it doesn't really matter, ultimately. I had one, two, three, one. So I did, I did have enough. No, 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 because I would have had to tap differently, so one of these would have been tapped instead. So it would have been one, two, one. All right. That's good. Oops. You better have a counterspell. Main phase chemistry's insight. I'm gonna say resolve all. We're getting there pretty quickly. I have to be careful about playing off the top of my deck. That said, ooh, that's not good. That's that's not good. Good. That's not good. Pass. Okay. So, go on to my turn. Obviously, I have a meteor golem. Obviously, I'm going to play the meteor golem. It's going to burn all my mana here. But now there's a question. Which one do I hit? I think that I can win quickly enough if I take this and get Karn back. Um, but there is a case to be made for hitting Psychic Corrosion. I'm worried about cleansing Nova, though. It's fine. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, give me Karn. Give me Karn. I mean, as you saw, 
We have a second Meteor Golem we can use. Yeah, Cleansing Nova is going to be a pain, absolute pain, if it shows up. No getting around that. But we're going to represent Lethal next turn. If they don't have a Cleansing Nova, or the the blue bounce spell, it's a thing, then they're, they're done next turn. All right, let's resolve all. So we'll, next turn we'll go to attacks, see if we can kill them, and if not, we'll Meteor Golem one of the Corrosions. There's only 30 cards left. On the other hand, that is 30 cards. That's a decent number, I guess. Ixalan's oh my god, I swear. Hit the Meteor Golem. No, 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 they, they die if they do that. So even though they know I have a Meteor Golem, they can't do... Why are you hitting the card? He's done his job. <laughs> He's done his job. Uh, okay, there's a Settle. Oh no, that is Meteor Golem that they hit, right? Yeah, that's Meteor Golem, okay. All right, that's fair, that shuts that off, but they still lose, right? Unless they have a Settle the Wreckage, they still lose... No, 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 not yet. They're almost there, but not yet. Ixalan's... How many? That's four Ixalan's bindings. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why are you hitting the Mystic Forge? Okay, yes, I could have shuffled there. I'm okay with drawing the Geode. Okay, well, okay, that's a thing. Can I do lethal now? Can I create lethal? So, three. Play two Geodes. Yeah, you're tapped out, dude. You're tapped out. Oh, heck yeah. Let's go for it. We we have this. We have this. We got this. Alright. Make sure the, the tapper works correctly. We didn't even have to do that. We could have just attacked with the district. We could have just attacked with mobilized district. Uh, we still can, actually. We still can. Okay, they see it. They see it. They see the writing on the wall. Alright, I said one more. That's Karn Mud. That's the, the mono black version of Karn Mud. There's the mono red version, and then the one that looks like it's is it actually only has one colored card in the deck, and it's uh, Jura. The one that, it's a legend when you cast a historic spell, draw a card. It's just in there to be in there. Um, it's not ideal. But the deck also isn't quite finished, so it, it's a placeholder. And as such, the mana base changes, etc. You get the idea. Plus one, plus oh, and have trample. Okay. Street Riot. And that's it for this recording. So take care, Magic Community on YouTube. I will see you all later. Bye-bye. Cheers. <laughs>